Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of In Ohio Country Today. I'm Big Dan Wilson, and this week our feature story is all about Cooper Farms. We want to thank our friends at Salina Insurance Group for sponsoring that segment. Also want to remind you about our podcast. Don't miss an episode. Go to our website for a link to our podcast at inohiocountry.com. We'll be back with this week in Ohio Country Today. Son, I've been meaning to have a talk with you. You're getting older now, and maybe you're thinking about different things. What kind of things, Dad? Well, you're changing. And the things you like and the things you don't like, well, they may be changing too. You mean like girls? No, son. I mean like tractors. Some of your friends may start liking different colors or different brands just because their friends like different colors or different brands. But remember, son, we raised you on New Holland Blue. Oh, I was worried you were going to talk about girls. You see those birds over there? You see those bees over there? Well, they work together to make something beautiful. Like how we work with Apple Farm Service. You mean like pollinating and making eggs? No, son. No. Birds and bees need each other just like we need Apple Farm Service. We've tried other dealerships, but none compare with the in-stock parts or the level of service. You may be interested in other things, son, but just remember, the birds and the bees, like Apple Farm Service and New Holland. In school, they tell me you can be anything, even a cat. Well, good talk, son. Let's get ice cream. Apple Farm Service, your trusted dealership for parts, service, and sales. Learn more at applefarmservice.com. Midway Trailers and Rodock Leasing Sales and Service is Ohio's only authorized Timpty dealer. And we have the perfect grain hopper for you. And right now, before September 30th, receive a $1,000 rebate when you finance a new trailer. Midway Trailers, Rodock Leasing Sales and Service. When you need a haul, give Midway a call. Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today uh, with uh, Cassie Joe Aaron. Uh, here uh, to talk about a lot of things that are going on uh, product-wise in Ohio. You want to give us just a little bit of background about yourself uh, before we get into that? So I work for Shiftology Communication and have spent 15 years prior working for Cooper Farms doing agricultural communication. Well, you know, uh, people think agriculture is simply just raising the product, right? And that's far from the truth. No, that's not at all where it ends. It's uh, raising the products, it's marketing the products, it's creating quality and what the consumers are looking for. It's really thinking about what are those consumers wanting and working backward from there. Well, you know, Cooper Farms is probably, uh, obviously, they're one of the largest agricultural producers in Ohio. And Cooper Farms is very concerned from conception, from start to finish, till it's put on the plate. Uh, you want to just talk a little bit about that process, you know, and, and with the family-run business of Cooper Farms? Yeah. Vertical integration is really important to Cooper Farms. You know, it's a family-owned company and family-run to this day. They're almost on their 85th anniversary, actually. They've grown tremendously, but it's been through organic growth and working with local farmers and allowing them the opportunity to help grow those animals. But it's about quality. It's about providing the veterinary care, the proper feed, the proper ingredients, and ensuring that it's a high-quality product at the end and working with those private label companies. So you might not know that you're eating Cooper Farms products, but you're probably having it at some point because there's a lot of big brand names on them. You know, they're talking about the quality. Uh, you want to, I mean, I think what I'm really impressed about, I have friends, being in agriculture myself, I have friends that, that grow turkeys and grow hogs for, for Cooper. Uh, but I think it's uh, so important that the consumers understand what that really means from start to finish. Yeah, it's really about paying attention to every little detail. So when you're growing them in a barn, like you mentioned, it's making sure that you have the proper air and ventilation. It's making sure the proper temperatures. We always laugh when we get uh, calls about the weather. It's really hot or it's really cold. How do the animals feel about that? They don't know the difference. It affects the farmer much more than it affects those animals because that barn is temperature controlled and we're working to make sure it's a consistent environment for them. They have access to water and food all day. They have everything they want. They're living a very happy life. Well, you know, you, you mentioned about Cooper Farms and their growth. Uh, I, I know that they probably probably even rank nationally when it comes to turkey production. You want to just talk 
Give us a little bit of statistics on that, though. So Cooper Farms is buying uh, nearly 20 million bushels of corn a year, 115,000 tons of soybean meal, and making over a million tons of feed per year for those animals. And it's it's really about quality, ensuring that it's locally purchased from local farmers. Supporting that local area is really important. Support, supporting those local economies, and then providing quality feed to those animals, knowing exactly what's in it and that they're getting the right ration at the right age so that it's 100% quality at all times. Um, as far as turkeys, raised, they hatch about 15 million poults a year and it's about 35 million live pounds. Cooper Farms is definitely one of the top uh, turkey producers in the United States. They have been for many years and they continue to work their way up. Really, it's about consistently providing that quality product and then those customers continue to come back for more and then there's more demand and they produce some more. Um, and that gives them the opportunity to work with more local farmers and continue to grow there. They're actually in the process of growing the turkey division right now and looking for more contract farmers. Well, you know, Cassie Jo, it, it's, it's one thing to uh, uh, raise the animal from start to finish, have great quality control on what they consume, but the health and welfare of the animal is as is, is important as, as anything else, right? Yes. After human health and safety, that is our top priority. So it's, it's working on ensuring that those animals are healthy and safe at all times. Um, with HPAI right now, high pathogen, highly pathogenic avian influenza out right now, that's a big priority and a lot of people are very concerned about that. And our veterinary team is working every single day to ensure that that is not a concern and to mitigate any risks. So on our breeding farms where it's the highest risk, where you have the, the moms laying the eggs, um, you're making sure that we're showering every, every team member in every day. They're showering out. They wear farm clothing when they're on the farm. They change back into their street clothing off the farm. If you're coming into any other farm, you're ensuring that you're covering your boots. You're not wearing street wear into a barn. You're covering them with plastic or you're changing boots altogether. You're wearing special coveralls. So you're ensuring that you're not bringing things from outside into a farm because that's the biggest risk that there is. Tracking with your feet is the best way to bring a disease in. So we're always working to mitigate that risk. And our veterinary team is working every single day on that path to make sure that we're, we're creating those lines of separation, that we're ensuring our team members are taking every step prop properly so that they're not um, introducing diseases into a farm. Well, you know, so we've talked about, you know, all the steps Cooper takes to produce the product, make sure it's, it's quality, uh, and, and sell the product, but, but Cooper has really uh, done a lot uh, in giving back to the community. Oh, yes. It is really a, a fundamental part of who Cooper Farms is. It goes back to Virgil and Virginia, the founders of the company. They always wanted to give back to their community. They, everything from donating turkey eggs to make noodles for their local church or whatever that might be. But now they're back to giving money to all the local organizations within the counties where they operate. And not only that, but also the food bank. So there's always going to be products that can be donated, whether it was they ran too much product or we have a little bit of extra meat and we're gonna run something special so that we can donate this to the food banks because there's always people that need protein. Food banks will tell you the biggest challenge they have is attaining protein. And especially through COVID, that was one thing that we really made a focus on, is donating that product to those food banks to ensure people had the right nutrition every day to provide for their families. You had kids home a little bit more often and that cost more money to take care of them and to feed them. So making sure that the, they all had the access to that was really important. Thanksgiving, that's what everybody thinks about. If you're in the local area, the turkey roast is what everybody talks about for Cooper Farms. It is a boneless turkey roast. It's the best thing you can possibly make. Uh, throw it in the oven and basically forget about it. You don't have to do basting and all the other things that you have to do with a whole bird. It's so much easier. I'll never go back to cooking a whole bird again. Um, I will say that Cooper Farms' main business is not around Thanksgiving, but we're definitely going to cater to that business and ensure that people have that. So any of the local people around Cooper Farms can get access to that at the country store or most of the local grocery stores. Well, Cassie Joe, it's been great talking with you, and we greatly appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. Our farm department is committed to providing ag professionals the products, coverages, and peace of mind needed to run a successful operation. With our home office located in the heart of farm country, many of us have first-hand experience when it comes to farming, and we know how to take out the risk. Under one policy, we can provide total protection of your investment from your home and barns to your equipment and livestock. We also provide an outstanding equine coverage from a homeowner with a single horse to a professional breeder and everything in between. Come join us and experience the Salina difference. 
Salina Insurance Group. For more information, be sure to check them out on the web at salinainsurance.com. That's salinainsurance.com. Many of the people on my team, including myself, have deep agricultural roots uh, as far as farming or involved in the agricultural community. I'm super proud of the team that we've put together here at Die Real Estate and Land Company, from our agents to our staff, and we all have a common goal. Our number one goal is to put together an amazing experience for our clients. Our sellers, we really focus on sale day and our whole team comes together to try to create an environment that uh, benefits the seller. As a team, the effort that we put into each sale, whether it's a private sale or an auction, is hard to beat. Our team strives to outperform our competition and provide experiences for both the seller and the buyer that is very pleasurable and, and easy to work with. The first thing we do when we're evaluating a property is we gather all the necessary information, whether it be FSA maps, Google maps, we use a system called MapRite or um, Tile maps. We gather all the necessary information and then we review that and we review the property and we decide if it is best suited for an auction or a traditional listing situation. Whether it's a listing, traditional listing, or an auction, our goal is to do what's best for the sellers, not what's best for our company. For an auction, the first thing we do is start gathering information. We take drone footage, we create custom signs, we l nail down a location to actually have the auction, and then we create a marketing timeline. I work with my team and we set a launch date for all the marketing, or marketing material to go out to the public, and then we work backwards from that point. If you're looking to sell your farm and you don't know when to contact us about a time frame of best time of year, or how long it takes, keep in mind that we usually try to hit a 45 day marketing window, and that benefits you as the seller. It gives, you enough, gives us enough enough time to reach as many buyers as possible in the market. So at every one of our auctions and all of our sales that we've had, we've gathered a gigantic database of potential buyers for your specific property. And with that, we market every one of our uh, sales to that database. There's thousands of landowners and potential buyers in that database, and you get to receive the benefit of that database if you list your property with us. The first thing that we do is we create all of the print material, flyers, and then we work on social media posts and videos and we create custom videos for your farm or property. Uh, we send out the print material to a 10 mile radius of every landowner that owns 30 acres or more in a 10 mile radius of your specific property. And then uh, with the custom video, it hits all of our social media. And we also are featuring our properties on In Ohio Country Today, a local television show that uh, highlights uh, stuff going on in the agricultural community. So between the print material and all of the social media, the websites that we put everything on, Land Watch, Lands of America, all those things, we create a marketing package that's unbeatable in the marketplace right now. We also like to take the old school approach to sales and marketing. From the time we list that farm until the day of the auction, we're out talking to landowners in the area, investors that may be coming from out of the area, and our goal is on sale day to almost have pre-sold it. We know where we're going to be and it's usually that extra little bit that we put in the effort that pushes that over the expectations of the seller. Usually in the sales process uh, we're working with a family that's selling a farm that they've owned for many generations and you get one chance to sell that in your entire lifetime. The people on our team focus on serving you as the owner and the seller and doing a job that is extremely humbling but yet focused to give you the best experience you can through that transition. At the end of the day, our goal is to exceed the seller's expectations and walk away from the transaction knowing that we have served them to the best of our ability. Devin Dye from Dye Real Estate Land Company, your area leader in land auctions, invites you to another great land auction opportunity. 61 acres in Rush Township, located in Champaign County, offered in three tracks. 
Track 2 is 18 plus acres, a beautiful track that includes partial woods, offering a variety of developing options. Track 3 is a little over 3 tenths of an acre, perfect for residential development. And Track 1, the largest of the three tracks at 42 acres. And once again, combined with the other two tracks, offers you 61 total acres. Don't miss this great land auction opportunity, July 18th at the Woodruff Farm, 3143 East US Highway 36 in Urbana, Ohio. Online bidding is also available. Die Real Estate and Land Company is your area leader in land auctions. For more information, go to dierealestate.com. That's dierealestate.com. Welcome to St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, home of the Ag Pack. Ag Pack is an exclusive package of discounts on products and services you already use on your farm and ranch. And you get Ag Pack with every vehicle you purchase. We are your certified agriculture dealership. You get straight talk, real service, and the right price. St. Mary's Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. I'm Brenda Berge and I'm here with Amanda who is the owner of Pushita Creek Steaks. So tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be cooking today. So today we're gonna to make some Maid Rites and some Sloppy Joes. So Maid Rite was actually developed in Iowa, so it's kind of an Iowa thing. And then Sloppy Joes are more of a tomato-based hamburger mixture. And then today we're going to do them out here on the griddle because it's just a nice wonderful day and it's grilling season and I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do outside on the griddle. You can also make them inside in a skillet or you can put them in a crock pot. So there's a couple different ways we can make them. Well I'm excited about this because sloppy joes is definitely one of my favorite dishes and I have to warn you I am not Martha Stewart so I'm looking forward to probably learning a few things today with you and can't wait to taste this sloppy joe recipe. Okay, so what are we starting with? What ingredients? Uh, so we put some oil on our griddle. Uh, we're going to start with our onion. Sorry. Just a sweet onion? Yeah, just a plain white onion. Okay. You can do sweet onions. You can do kind of, kind of whatever preference. So we're just going to turn this out right here. That's the star of the show. Yeah, exactly. One pound of hamburger. Okay. And we're going to clean our hands up here quick. So like a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper, okay. kind of season that to taste. We're going to do a little bit of yellow mustard here. We need a cup of beef broth, so we're just going to kind of drizzle that into there. So and then we're gonna we're gonna add our Worcestershire. Some recipes call for some water. This one we probably don't have to use water because um, the beef broth added enough water to it or enough moisture to it. So. All right, so we're gonna put this on a bun. So normally when you think about Sloppy Joe's, right, yeah. the, it's a tomato base, but this is not. No, it's more, yeah, it doesn't have a tomato in it, but it has pretty much everything else in it that you would put in a, in a Sloppy Joe's. So. so yeah. Looks delicious. It smells good too. <laughs> so we're gonna put the green bell pepper on here and just kind of let that start cooking. dump some tomato sauce in here just to get it soupy enough but in a skillet on the stove you would add a whole complete 15 ounce can of tomato sauce because we don't want it to completely run all over the grill. Ready? We're going to add some garlic, <laughs> our 
barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> In this recipe, we put brown sugar instead of the white sugar and some ketchup. So we started off with Made Right and basically used the core part of the recipe of the Made Right and then we just added a few more ingredients and we made delicious sloppy joes. Yeah, exactly. You're set. So Simple. if you got a busy week ahead, right? Yep. Easy. You got two meals right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now comes the taste test. This is what we've been waiting for. Sounds All good. afternoon. So I'm going to take a test. So this is the sloppy, sloppy Joe's. Joe. Okay. I'm going to take a test. I'm not kidding. That is delicious. You know, I watch a lot of food shows and I always get nervous because you take a bite, right? It's not easy to do, but no, this truly is delicious. Thank you so much, um, Amanda from Prushita Creek Steaks. I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure talking with you today. Um, if you would like to order uh, some of Amanda's product, go to Amanda's website, which is? PrushitaCreekSteaks.com or Amanda'sAmazingMeat.com. You can also find uh, Amanda's information and the recipes that we made today at inohiocountry.com. Thanks for being here, everyone. We'll see you next time. Dad's Toy Shop invites you to the 19th Annual RC Fun Run, part of the Wapakoneta Summer Moon Fest, Saturday, July 22nd. Fun for kids and adults. The RC Fun Run is the largest gathering of RC cars and trucks in the area. Contests, door prizes, and more for all radio-controlled cars and trucks, on-road, off-road, electric, or nitro. The 19th Annual RC Fun Run. Stop in the Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta today or check us out on the web at dadstoyshop.com. It's a humble idea. Use a biological process to turn a plant into a power source. From that idea came the first Poet Refinery. One biorefinery in one town turned into 27 facilities in 27 towns, creating new local jobs, producing hundreds of millions of gallons of ethanol, and providing renewable products around the world. Suddenly, that one little idea seems a whole lot bigger. See the world differently with Poet. Hello once again, everybody. I'm talking with Jewel Rollins, and Jewel is a graduate of Central State University. Jewel, why are you now back at Central State as being employed by the university? Um, so yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do once I graduated college, um, but as a undergraduate student, I actually stumbled across the um, extension department really had no idea what extension was and once I got to know the department and um, you know the people work in the department I'm like okay this seems like an interesting field that I might be able um, to see myself in once I graduate so I graduated with the exercise science degree um, and had the opportunity once I graduated we expanded um, across the state of Ohio so it kind of just worked out that I was able to go back home to Toledo and cover that northwest region um, um, for family and consumer science. So, by being an extension, do you get a lot of joy out of teaching people? Yes, I like I said, I had no idea what I wanted to do, um, but I found that I am like a big people person, and I like the aspect of being in the community and meeting different people and networking and just seeing that there's a lot. Um, there's a lot that goes on in our communities that I either A, didn't know about, or B, just didn't have the opportunity to see. Um, but now I do, being in the community. Now, if there would be any student watching or parents of students watching right now that would have some questions, what's the best way for them to find out more information? Um, you can visit our website, centralstate.edu. Um, you can also 
visit our extension website, um, centralstate.edu slash extension. Um, that goes into specifically our extension as well as our um, schooling and education aspect as well. We also have um, Facebook um, as well. They can look up just Central State or if they're in the Northwest region, they can look in that area or even any of the other um, five regions that we offer. Jill Rollins has been our guest. Jules, thanks for being with us. Yes, thank you. And we'll be back with more in Ohio Country today. Okay, and we're going to add one last little dot. And beautiful. Now let's see everybody's wonderful creations. That's beautiful. I love the colors. That's special. Uh, I'm sorry. My mind's not here today. I can do it again. Tractors on your mind? Apple Farm Service can help with that. With dozens of brands like Coyote, Kubota, New Holland, and Case IH, Apple Farm Service is your one-stop shop for your next tractor, implement, attachment, or machine. Visit applefarmservice.com slash inventory to view their entire in-stock tractors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to Apple's. Hi, I'm Alan Davis, and here at Alan Davis Insurance, we strive to be your solutions provider. As a business owner and an active farmer, I know the challenges firsthand that you face to run your business and your farm. Give us a call, 419-738-7447, for your auto, home, life, farm, commercial, crop, and financial services. Or check us out on the web at allendavisinsurance.com. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today from the home of Midway Trailer, Midway Trailer and Rodak, one of our fine sponsors. If you want more information about them, you can always check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. There you'll find links to our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our podcast. Check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. That's inohiocountry.com.